Jennifers and welcome to Geriatric Mums. <laughs> so today we're going to address some of those myths about all the mothers and what does it mean to be a geriatric mum and what it doesn't mean. I guess the, the kind of most famous one is obviously that you can't you can't really get pregnant after the age of 35 or it's incredibly difficult. The kind of stats where this is based on is drawn from middle ages. It's from the French Revolution, 1700 something, and they were looking at like birth records of when babies were born, because obviously they didn't have any contraception then, mm -hmm. so it was really easy to track. But they also didn't have electricity, <laughs> you know, the similar nutrition that we have, healthcare. Did so they have antibiotics by then? Probably not. Yeah. Well, I think the norm was that you'd have babies when you're 13, so I think yeah. 35 is a bit of a leap. Yeah, and it's, also it didn't mean that that women didn't try to stop pregnancies, mm. even though they didn't have contraception, really. Mm. So but then they died at 40, so... Yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't have babies after 40. No, that's very true. Yeah. But I think they, they have actually extended it now. It's, it's more like 37 when your fertility starts to drop. Yeah, rather than 35. Thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> and actually, it's something like, you know, if you're in your late 30s, it's like over 80% of people get pregnant within the first year of trying. So. It's all right. It's okay. Then there's, so we like statistics, don't we? <laughs> so there's this, what's this statistic of yours about women being over the hill? So YouGov did this poll on men and the men told some truths. And it was something like 46% of men thought that women are too old to have a baby at, at 36, basically. <laughs> but at the same time, they thought that for men, that is about right. Yeah, unless you're a rock star, then you're, you know, 87 is your <laughs> average age. <laughs> so yeah, with that, mm. with that kind of leads us to a myth number two, which is that you, if you're ha leaving having babies really late, you're really selfish and too obsessed with your career. What if you just haven't found the right guy? Yeah, or you if the right guy doesn't want to have a baby until they're yeah, in their late 36 or 70, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women should have babies in their 30s. But with men in their bodies, yeah. 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 Maybe it's because they're so immature. <gasps> or maybe the men want to focus on their career. Or maybe they want to go focus on younger women. Who knows? <laughs> you know. and, and also, you know, what if you want to focus on your career? What is wrong with that? Because we do know that, you know, once, once you have a baby, your mm. career will kind of nosedive and your progression will stop. So if you do that in your 20s, Tough. Okay, so the myth number three is that older women are going to be too tired to look after their children. And that's true. It's true, it's true. Older women are more tired. But would you be tired? I mean, I bet you would be tired if you were a younger mother as well. Possibly. And we have talked about that, you know, if we were having a baby Extend now. Extensively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think that. If you've seen any of our other episodes, you know that yes, we are fucking tired. So myth number four. Once you're older, you're more set in your ways, it'll be more difficult for you to give up your normal lifestyle. Might be true. Mm. I, we do miss reading the newspapers. Oh yeah, newspapers, man. That was lovely. But then, also, you might be more ready to kind of settle down and not really, you know, dying to go out clubbing every weekend. Oh, God. I think it just depends on the person, doesn't it? Some people are ready for it. Yeah, so I wouldn't say that's, you can't generalise, everyone's different. Yeah. We just miss the new newspapers, apart from that. Yeah. Okay. It's a fact myth. If in fact it is a myth. A fact myth. <laughs> <laughs> myth number five, if you're an older mum, you're going to be more likely to have an at-risk pregnancy. It's kind of true. Mm. There is uh, truth in that. Uh, you're more likely to have a miscarriage. You're more likely to have certain complications chromosome chromosomal abnormalities yeah <laughs> chromosomal abnormalities <laughs> yeah that <Done. laughs> um, but then it's it's hugely personal so basically it is a fact but at the same time your genes your lifestyle your overall health your fitness is far more important than your age yeah and also the fact that when you're young you know we People miscarry all the time, don't they? Mm. So we people don't even know if they if they've miscarried, mm. unless you're an older mum who's then there with a pregnancy test every three days just to make sure that it's it's true. Mm. 
It's once mm. again, everyone is different. Yeah. Myth number six, young people are better parents. <laughs> yeah, maybe like that Amish culture. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely know that I wouldn't have been a better parent when I was, like, in my 20s. I was, like, smoking, drinking, taking all kinds <laughs> of substances and, yeah. uh, you know, partying until the morning. But then once can't again... Can't do that anymore. <laughs> too no, I can't. And I can't do two days on a stretch either. But that as well <laughs> is down to the person. Yeah, absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah, that I would not have been ready. I was so selfish and yeah. just... Just a kid. Yeah. Just a kid. Yeah, so I think the conclusion of this is that whatever works for you, everyone's different. Yeah. So a couple of months ago, I my guilty mum moment was that I booked Noah into football. Yes. And didn't tell him. Uh, and now he really likes football. And I missed out on a soccer school, after school club. Part, but it, it was full, the course was full, so mm. it's not booked on. That's not too bad. He's not going to... Oh, oh, he, he will, will no. Oh, oh yeah. no, he will be absolutely distraught because his wife is going to be there. Or wife well, to be. Well, maybe you can play football with him every week. What's your deal to my moment then? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm blaming the society for this. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, because we are, we are taking him off school, uh, out of school early because... We are going to Finland and I can't take the risk that he's going to catch COVID and get that thing. And so we basically told him to lie at school and and we are going to be lying to the school. Am I going to get fined for this? Possibly. I will deny everything. <laughs> he does really have leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. We love you. Come back.